Because I am a certified chief and a bona fide stud, and you can't teach that. Father Poole, Willis got me wrong. How are you doing? Not too good. Not too good. That escalated quickly. It went from being the cruiserweight champ with the title defense at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, having a special segment for him on Raw 25, in 24 hours, a rape allegation, a suspension, and ultimately, a termination. What are you doing? Now, don't get me wrong. I totally get why the WWE probably fired Enzo. This was the last straw that ultimately broke the camel's back in a long list of backstage annoyances dealing with this douche. And for the WWE in their position as a publicly traded company, they want no part of any surprises. And it was clear by the swift and immediate action, first the suspension and less than 24 hours later the termination, that WWE was caught off guard by this. They were completely surprised in large part because Enzo didn't bother telling them. And because of that, Vince was probably like, that's enough. It's not worth it anymore. How you doing? You're fired! And while I'm sure a lot of wrestling fans didn't necessarily want to see him go out like this, there are plenty that are celebrating this news right now. Yes! 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 Drew Gulak's power points for the win! You already know, you already know the feminazis and the boy pusses are all over this. They're ready to pounce and they're ready to make Enzo the epitome of so much of what is wrong with our male dominated society today. Hashtag I'm with her. Hashtag me too. That's right ladies. Burn those bras. Break the bonds of this oppressive, chauvinistic, male-dominated, oppressive society. Burn, baby, burn. Hashtag me too. But don't count me with them. That's for sure, because... I smell a rat. Not the type that eats cheese. Not just the type that sleeps with the wrestlers. And not just a modern rat. You know, the hardcore wrestling nerdy fanboy that stalks their favorite wrestlers at the airport at 5 a.m. waiting for an autograph because it's everything to them so they can go hawk it on eBay. Daniel Bryan, oh my god, it's you, it's really you, you're the greatest motherfucker wrestler in the world, would you please sign my left nipple? But instead, what I smell, the type of batshit crazy loony bitch rat that would do this type of garbage just for a pathetic attempt to seek attention. Just like she did in a YouTube video a couple of years ago, faking a pregnancy. Because what could be funnier than that? Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! You are the father, but not just kidding! Ha 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 ha! Or giving somebody fake cocaine as a prank. Because after all, who doesn't think fake narcotics are funny? <laughs> or recently tweeting about getting cocaine in your eye and wondering whether or not you will die. That seems just like the type of individual, the type of accuser we should completely and totally take seriously, right? And believe no matter right. Huh? Because I smell a rat. Ugh. A dirty stinking, sleazy rat. And that's why, hashtag, I'm with him. And that's why I'm asking all of you to join with me to help hashtag free Enzo Amore. Hashtag free Enzo Amore. Hashtag free Enzo Amore. Well, did he get arrested? No. Did he get charged? <laughs> Probably won't. Well, didn't WWE already free him from his contract? Touche. When you really get down to the nitty gritty, there's no question, it's a dangerous world for women. There are millions of women around the world that have been harassed, assaulted, raped, and I don't mean to make light of that. 
because it is a very serious issue. Women shouldn't be assaulted or raped just because they're women and just because guys are men and it's the natural order of things. That's crazy. So it can be a dangerous world for women. It also can be a dangerous world for men, especially when you think about, in the case of Enzo, potentially BS, false, made-up allegations of rape could cost him his career. And up to this point in time, they technically have cost him his career, his livelihood, his job, his good name, his reputation, shattered. And even if proven to be false, even if he's never brought up on charges, even if they're flat out proven to be a lie, it will always be a stigma and a dark cloud that hangs over him where people wonder, people bring it up, which is total crap. And what's even worse about this is that this individual who has made this accusation against Enzo Amori, who has done other things that severely call into question her credibility, like I said, I smell a rat, a dirty stinking rat, is that... If she made these allegations knowing they were untrue, knowing they were a fabrication, knowing that she's flat out lying, she is evil and deserves to be punished as such. But ultimately, she will face no consequences, no repercussions, no charges for this, because that is the st double standard we have in society. The guy could be accused of rape, you find out it's not true and flat out a lie, and we just kind of go about our business. No. And we know that the mental health thing is going to be brought up. And that does an incredible disservice to millions upon millions of people in this country and around the world that legitimately battle mental health issues every day that don't go around lobbying out there and throwing out there freaking false rape charges. If she's doing that, then she's unfit to be a part of society. Lock her ass up. That's what I say. And for some of you, that are going to sit there and say it's his own damn fault. It's his own damn fault that these allegations are false. You're a retard, period. And I get why he wouldn't tell WWE. Fear for their reaction. Knowing the allegations were crap. Knowing he hadn't gotten charged yet and may not get charged and maybe didn't feel like the WWE needed to know about it. And for three months or so, he was right. It doesn't mean it was the right decision. It doesn't mean that he shouldn't have told him. But I completely get and understand from a guy's perspective why he wouldn't have opened his mouth. It's easy to judge it from the outside looking in. But when it's your career, when it's your job, and when it's your livelihood, it's an entirely different thing. And what happens on the flip side if he tells them this and they still suspend him and fire him any damn ways? Then he looks like a damn fool because he basically snitched on himself and cost himself his own damn career over potentially nothing. But I hope really from all this, Enzo learns a lesson, especially if these allegations are false. If they're true, then I hope he rots in prison and then rots in hell. But if they're false, and I believe them to be false. And not just because he's a man, not just because he's a wrestler, because I think this heifer is batshit crazy. That's why I smell a dirty, stinking rat, an attention whore, looking for attention because she's mentally unstable. She is freaking crazy. She's nuts. I hope Enzo learns a lesson from all of this and starts making better choices. It's not that hard to stop being a D-bag. Stop being a D-bag! And also remember, women are magnificent creatures. But they can also be one of your great downfalls as a successful dude. So next time, before you start dipping it and sticking it and anything with a vagina and a pulse, maybe you should first... that doesn't work for you, Enzo, remember this very important life lesson from the Schlegaddy to you, Eric Arndt. Rosie and Pamela are your friends, and you won't catch a case from messing around with them.